Wakanda Forever is more than just big action sequences and defeating a larger than life enemy. It's also about saying goodbye to Chadwick Boseman. We all suffered an incredible loss when we lost Chadwick. Chad was very much our artistic partner. I would spend time with him, just he and I, talking about like, where we would want to see the story go, how much he admired the other characters and the actors that portrayed them. In the telling of this story, we were all able to honor him together. 2018's Black Panther was a box office breaking critical success and crowd pleasing triumph that made black people feel seen in the superhero genre for the first time in a never ending arena of superheroes. And Bozeman was a huge part of that. Audiences have embraced Wakanda and Black Panther and Chatwick. He knew exactly what this story, what these images meant to the world. I just want to say thank you so much for making Black Panther. I can't express how much it means to me and, and the community and my family. Um, thank you from the very bottom of my heart for all that you've done, um, for really being a hero um, that we really need in a time like this. Thank you so much. Darren, I think there's something wrong with your microphone. Oh! I cannot tell you how much it means to have you step into the role as our king and be holding it with such grace and poise and joy. Um, that was so great. I think we should move <laughs> it Let's move in for a close up of that. Let's get a close up of that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Bozeman's death in 2020 came as a shock to nearly everyone. He had been battling colon cancer in private. Director Ryan Coogler made it clear at the time that the upcoming sequel would not replace him as Black Panther. Fast forward two years and Wakanda Forever sees the actors and their characters having to process the dual loss. I am queen of the most powerful nation in the world and my entire family is gone. And I'm excited about us honoring Chad. Yeah, he would want us to just inspire the world.